in our busy lives, in our lifestyle, constantly running around. We think we can run away from death. We think we can escape it. We think we can hide from that reality. Put this scenario in your head, my brothers. It is time for you to go. You're leaving this world. You're sitting on your deathbed. Would you be thinking of the women? Would you be thinking of the cars? Would you be thinking of the houses? Would you be thinking of that dollar? What would you be thinking of? You would be thinking of myself, my deeds. What have I done? Because if you knew the reality of death, then wallahi, wallahi, you'll be the best Muslim that you can. Every soul will taste death and you'll be one of two. One of two souls, either the good soul or the wicked soul. It will, it will lie down in the grave and then the two angels will come. Munkar wa nakir. Those two angels will come and they will ask this soul. Three questions. Very, very easy for us to answer now. But wallahi brothers, it's not the tongue that will speak that day. It's the heart that will speak. Those two angels will ask the three questions. Who is your Lord? What is your religion? And who was the man that was sent to you? Who is our Lord? It is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What is our religion? It is Islam. And who was the man that was sent to us? It is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. On that day, my brothers, it is not the tongue that will speak. It is the heart that will speak. And when this beautiful, obedient, pious soul will answer those three questions successfully, his grave will be made so wide as far as he can see. So easy for him to sleep in. It's going to be so comfortable, very, very wide. And a window will be opened for him. And he can start to smell the fragrance of Jannah. And he can see his position in Jannah. And then he starts to make dua, Ya Allah, make that day come, I want to enter the Jannah. For that beautiful, pious, believing soul. As for the second type, the wicked soul. After he goes into the grave, the two angels, Munkar wa Nakir, will come down to this soul and they will ask the three questions. And Wallahi, my brothers, Wallahi, my brothers, it is your heart that will answer these questions, not your tongue. It is your heart. Who is your Lord? What is your religion? And who is the man that was sent to you? This disbelieving soul, this wicked soul, this soul that wasn't obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this soul was disobedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, won't be able to answer those questions. So then what happens? The angels smack that soul with a metal hammer, 70 meters down into the ground. His grave will be made so tight on him, so, so tight he can't even move. And then a window will be open for him. That's your position in hellfire. No, that's yours. For the disbelieving soul. Wallahi, my brothers, every single one of us will taste death. And every single one of us will go through that process. 